Why is it black there? You know what I love more than Minecraft? History. I love history. Specifically, Joan of Arc. So as a way to, uh, to uh, celebrate this new era of me, my Minecraft YouTube channel, I am going to explain the entirety of Joan of Arc's history. And you guys are going to sit through it. Because you guys don't have a, have a choice. Enjoy! So we're starting in France, 1400s. The French, the French are vibing. And Joan is merely 13. She's a 13 year old at this time, right? She's just a 13 year old living in living life. And one day while she's gardening, she somehow hears saints, like Saint Margaret, Saint Michael, Saint, uh, I forgot the other saint. I know there was another one, I fucking forgot. And they're like, Joan, all you gotta do is go to church and be property for men. And Joan was like, okay. But while this, there was two Charles, Prince Charles, and King Charles. King Charles signed something that dethroned Prince Charles from being king of France. And King Charles was like, haha, oh well. Well, Prince Charles was like, no, I am gonna start a war against my father because I wanna be a king. So a war starts, you know, a war starts. And by this time, um, Joan is like 16, I believe. She's like 16. And Joan minded her business once again, you know, for fun, just minded her business. The saints came back. They're like, Joan, you gotta, you gotta lead France to victory. You gotta, got, you gotta get Prince Charles to be king. And Joan was like, anything for you, God. So <laughs> she, she went to Prince Charles' palace. She went to Prince Charles' palace. And Charles was like, no, there's no way some 16-year-old wants to fucking fight in a war. I'm gonna put on some disguise and, and see what happens. And while Joan was waiting, I believe, while she was waiting, she recognized Prince Charles in his disguise. I wonder how. <laughs> I wonder how. And and she, she was like, you are Prince Charles. You are my rightful king. And Prince Charles was like, oh yes, she's perfect. A 16 year old hearing voices from God, perfect for my war. And Joan was like, yay. And Charles was like, yes, my, my lady, I am sending you to war with an army. So they go to war, I forgot where. They go to war to fight the English. It's always, it's, it's always, it's, it's always the fucking English doing this, huh? Um. And, and, and they're like, we got a plan. And Joan's like, nah. And go, they go all go to war. They all go to war. Uh, and stuff happens. And so miraculously, the English say, damn, we're not going to win this. And they, they wave their white handkerchiefs. They surrender. And Joan's like, yeah, guys, we did it. You know, girl power, girl boss, gaslight, gay keep. <laughs> and Prince Charles gets claimed as King Charles. He's now King of France again. Not again. He's now claimed the throne again. He's King of France now. And he's like, Joan, I need you to uh, go fight again, but claim Paris for me. And she's like, okie dokie, and goes, and goes to Paris and fight in that fucking war. Okay, I'm, stop, I'm very sleep deprived. And then, oh no, look at this. She got caught and they're like, haha, a woman in a war, that's a felony. And she's like, oh no, what now? So they take her to court, she's in court, cause you know, court that's the point of court court and you know being a woman back then if you were taken to court it was either you lose or you get killed um the killing happened more often 
been losing. You, it's a lose lose situation. There's no escaping a inevitable, inevitable death by the hands of men. You know, and they're like, Joan, since you're a woman cross dressing as a man in a war, you will be executed by the stake. And Joan's like, man, why this always happened to me? So they, they take her to the stake. They take her to the stake kebabs, the stake, tie her up. And she's yelling, St. Margaret, St. Michael, St. Big Daddy Jesus. But it was just silence. They did not reach for her because, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know why they didn't reach for her. And, and then she gets burnt at the stake. At 19, she dies. She dies... And she became a stake, a saint, a stake saint. <laughs> I, I do not explain Joan of Arc's history very well because, you know, we're, <laughs> because I am very sleep deprived. Um, but I hope you, uh, enjoy this video, whatever this video is. I am invisible, but that doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed this video of me explaining Joan of Arc's history and life. She died at 19 because men hate women and she cross-dressed and that just deflated her masculinity, I guess. I don't know. So she died. Rest in peace. Um, so, uh, yeah, she rest in peace, Joan of Arc. I love you in, in that one high school show. Subscribe.